My name is uh, Martin Klaassen uh, and I'm the founder and principal of uh, Klaassen Lighting Design. Uh, it's a lighting design practice uh, with offices in, uh, in Perth, in uh, Singapore, in Shanghai. Um, so the first couple of years of my career were with uh, Philips. Um, they were also the ones that uh, sent me in Singapore to set up uh, a lighting design division up there. Um, yeah, and from there it evolved. Uh, I left Philips, started my own practice and uh, here I am today. Lighting is an integral part of where the lighting is supposed to be. That means whether it's within an architectural environment, whether it's in a landscape environment. Lighting generally, I don't want it to be seen as light per se, but as a, as a component of the overall environment, of the overall architectural surroundings that you're in. And when you come into a space, it's not like, oh, look at the lighting. No, it should be like, oh, look at the overall. You know, you get, you get sort of touched by when you enter the space with, with the overall effect that it creates. Um, I'm not very keen to see many lighting points, so we try to really look at integrating lights um, in uh, architectural elements, uh, conceal the lights maybe in coves or in, in other architectural details. Each project will have its individual approach. I mean, there are general underlying principles that you apply everywhere, um, but each project has to be reviewed and, and considered from um, what is it that we want to achieve. So uh, this project is the Palace Hotel, uh, right in St. George's Terrace in Perth. Um, it's called Palace Hotel, but it has different has had different functions over the years. Uh, it dates back from, I think, nearly 100 years. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do is to avoid downlights. And if you walk through this building, you will hardly see any downlights. Uh, most of it is either decorative or integrated. Uh, if you go into the stairway, you will see there's a number of little statues uh, at the, the handrail. Um, so we actually went uh, to Market River to a, a special glass blower uh, to recreate uh, a specific uh, form and shape that uh, was in the, in the shape of a flame. Historical buildings. Um, have a place in, in our overall culture uh, and it's important to, to validate that through very considerate uh, lighting. Arthur's Head, Bathers Beach in Fremantle um, is part of an overall development plan from the city of Fremantle. They approached us whether we would be uh, able to help them lighting up um, the rock face that is facing uh, the sea. Um, one of the reasons they wanted to light it up is that it was also an area with a lot of antisocial behavior because at night it was not very well lit and now uh, what we have done we've attributed uh, one color per day uh, and then in the weekend it sort of chases and, and, and runs different colors. Not, not a big job, but uh, something that has a big impact because it can be seen from far away and it impacts really on how people experience that space and it makes it so much safer to be there at night. Riverside Drive um, is a project that I undertook uh, indeed like uh, well, probably 15, 20 years ago. It's, it's interesting to talk about a project that old because when you go there, um, a testament to the quality of our design, it's still there. It's still exactly as we designed it and as it was installed. Um, one of the elements that are uh, a typical identifier of that project were what we call the swan lights. Along the walkway, uh, you will see a pole that has the shape of a swan. It has this sort of uh, shape and sort of indirect lighting. Um, but for me, one of the key elements here is the durability. Because design is not only about something looking nice when you commission it. Design is also very critical in terms of how does it look in 10, 15, 20 years from now. Riverside Drive is one of those projects where the quality of the lighting 
uh, was uh, crucial and inherent at the success that still today it is basically untouched, is exactly the way it was designed and installed uh, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, the Murdoch Art Wall um, is a project uh, that we did together with the artist Rick Vermey. Um, it's along South Street um, and has a very strong relationship with uh, the Arab Aboriginal uh, culture around there. Um, when Rick de developed his artwork, he thought of connecting the people with the Aboriginal uh, heritage that was there. And he developed a number of panels um, that depict uh, typical natural, natural elements uh, that are part of that, uh, that area. By perforating the, the material, he created images. Now, that comes best to, to life when you light it up. And uh, together with the artist, we spent quite a lot of time doing the testing. How do we best light up um, this artwork so that it's visible at night? And it's amazing how the backlighting of that, uh, these, these panels bring out the imagery. So one of the key attributes of, uh, I think, good lighting design is that when you step into a space, you feel like in a different world. Uh, and I think when, when that's achieved, uh, I think uh, lighting design has really uh, done what it's supposed to do.